Welcome to Rome. This is the Vatican, Vatican City. We're gonna go into St. Peter's Basilica. See if we can see some of Michael Michelangelo's Michelangelo's uh, paintings. Maybe we'll see the Pope. Heading into the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's Basilica. This is the Pope's Church. Security is pretty easy to get through. Just a bag check and x-ray machine is all they ask. We looked at the uh, Peter's Basilica and now we are on our way to the Colosseum walking. It's about three kilometers walk. So it takes about 45 50 minutes. And lots of ancient ruins everywhere you look here. It's just a little too much to take in all at once. This is the Colosseum. This is the area where Christians were thrown to the lions and people watched and it was their entertainment. pretty hard to imagine a culture that would be entertained by people getting mauled and the violence of that kind of death. Although then again, when you think of our Western culture today, a lot of entertainment involves violence just like this. Maybe not so much uh, real violence, but violence nonetheless. This behind me is the area where the prisoners were held and the gladiators and the animals were held before they came out to fight and participate in the games. It's kind of hard to imagine the anticipation that some of the Christians had as they waited there knowing that they were going to be given to the lions as they waited underneath, maybe heard the screams of their brothers and sisters in Christ being eaten by the lions before they were sent out. And what I guess amazes me about Rome is that this was a city that was very anti-Christian to begin with and then it went to being like the capital of Christianity uh, in this part of the world. 
and and even today, it is the it is the uh, center or the head of the Catholic Church. And so today we were in St. Peter's Basilica, which is that's the Pope's church. That's where the Pope is. That's the Vatican, and in the Colosseum, so the place where they tortured and killed Christians and the, well, you might see the center of Christianity. But the sad part is that as we toured um, St. Peter's Basilica, it just seemed like very little that would actually draw your attention to God. Mainly a lot of images of different popes, different dignitaries, a lot of gold, a lot of decoration, and, and very, little, very few people worshiping, actually worshiping there more of a tourist center so I think the moral is that society can either persecute Christians or when the government itself becomes Christian both of those extremes are bad and the church's role is not necessarily to govern um, nations and cities but the church's role is to influence them with the gospel to not go in because there's like a whole bunch of beetles in there. Beetles? I don't know anything about beetles.